display in New York. It's a collaborative effort that spans three decades in the life of one of the country's favorite sons, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. The photos are said to speak to the iconic legacy of the arch, allowing a visual understanding of his critical role in shaping not only South Africa, but the rest of the world. The exhibition, Tutu Then and Now, ends on the 18th of December. My name is Winnie Varghese. I'm the priest for Justice and Reconciliation here at Trinity Church on Wall Street. I believe it was in the 1980s, but it could have been earlier. Um, Trinity Church, in part of its international work, identified Desmond Tutu as an emerging leader in the anti-apartheid movement and as an important priest. I think this was before he was a bishop, definitely before he was archbishop, and decided to figure out how to support him and to support his work and to protect his voice and to help him develop it. And so Trinity has been supporting him personally for a very, very long time. And being a part of the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa through our support of Desmond Tutu is one of the pieces of our history that we're most proud of. I'm a photographer based in Cape Town and I've been working on this project about uh, Archbishop Tutu for about a year now with Sumer. She had started the project long before and I came in on it about a year ago and we collaborated through this year to put these two halves of the exhibition together. All my pictures were taken in the late 1980s and early 90s during the height of the struggle against the apartheid and I was drawn to him partly because he was the news of the day. He was one of the lightning rods of the struggle and he uh, was motivating people and attracting people and attracting a lot of attention. So as a news photographer in those days, that was what I did. But what also attracted me about him is his integrity, his humility, his steel core of vision of what he wanted and what he sees uh, the world to be and the society to be. My name is Maya Isham. I'm a freelance photojournalist based in Cape Town. I started the project in 2014 um, at St. George's Cathedral uh, in conjunction with the, the Dean Michael Weeder. Photographing Desmond Tutu in 2009 uh, and one of the things which uh, has stayed with me and which has kept me photographing him is uh, his compassion and his respect and dignity for everyone so he doesn't really there's no difference between him greeting someone on the street and, and a head of state uh, which is one of the things that I just mostly uh, admire about him. Like my children you know I can't pick a favorite I, I'm, I feel very strongly about some of them because of the circumstance around when they were taken. So for example, the beach picture when he led the marches on the beaches. It was an extremely powerful event because the police tried really hard to prevent that march from happening. And it did happen. And then the next day, those signs started being uh, taken down. I went back the next day to see what was happening and they were sawing down the whites only signs. So it was an extraordinarily powerful act and it had that very direct effect the next day. His hands tell such a big story, uh, from the ring he wears to the bracelets he wears. He wears an, a bracelet which says Ubuntu, um, which has so many meaning and so much story in it, uh, which is why I, I tend to photograph that. I feel very tender towards him, his history, and in the course of working with Sumer, we've had several opportunities to meet with him and to interview him and talk to him, to show him the pictures. And it's, it's touched me very deeply to have that, those encounters with him. He's just an ordinary, simple person that has done amazing things.